racist entitled mother slash Karen wants to get me arrested for stealing her phone, here's this story. It's my phone! Just for some background, I'm a half-black woman who grew up in a ghetto and worked damn hard through high school to earn scholarship and a full ride through college. I now work a very decent job and make reasonable amount of money, which I'm not afraid to show off, though I do maintain my ghetto heritage. Naturally, racism is a touchy subject for me. So here I am minding my own business in a local coffee place, answering some emails on my new Samsung Note 10. Day off, so I'm not dressed particularly well. Hoodie, sweatpants, you know the deal. Enter the cast. Entitled Mother. Entitled Mother, generally snooty looking, like she was trying really hard to go look wealthy, but nothing she had on was actually valuable. Obviously fake jewelry, etc. Entitled Kid. Maybe 12, maybe 13. Large. Positive he had some sort of autism or Asperger's due to his general mannerisms and, well, screeching. I noticed that Entitled Mother and Entitled Kid are staring at me. Not a big deal, especially since this is an upper-class area and I'm, well, me with my demeanor. Eventually, Entitled Mother and Entitled Kid walk over to me and Entitled Mother says this. You, where'd you get that? Um, I bought it. How? How do you think? People like you can't afford phones like that. You must have stole it. At this point, I'm in some sort of shock and speechless. She follows up with, I should report you to the police, but I'm willing to let this go if you hand the phone over to my precious baby now. Why would I do that? Because you stole it and don't deserve it. You're not getting my phone, chick. At this point, the manager or supervisor or assertive staff member, I'm not sure, but I'm calling a manager from here on, walks over and notices the situation and tries to calm everyone down. Ma'am, ma'am, I need you to calm down. This is a coffee shop. This woman called me a jerk after stealing my son's phone. Oh, uh, wait, what? I want to refund my phone back and some compensation. Uh, ma'am, you need to give your you need to give her the phone back or uh, I'm calling the cops. It's my phone. That's my son's phone, you jerk. Uh, ma'am, that's clearly not your phone. I will call the police if you don't give it back. At this point, Entitled Kid is screeching. I can't really make out what he's saying, but he's reaching for my phone. Having dealt with racism all my life, I began to go off at all three of them, so naturally police were called. The police immediately apprehended me, and only me, and confiscated my phone. They also took Entitled Mom and Entitled Kid in the manager's statement before taking mine last. All three of them told the cops an exaggerated version of the events. At this point, you'd have thought I was some homeless black person who just mugged a 13-year-old if you believe the story they say. I gave them my statement and told them I would refuse to cooperate in any further until they checked security footage. The coffee shop refused to let them check since, as far as they were concerned, it was clear I was a thief. And I've been apprehended, so what's the point? Eventually, the security footage was checked after several minutes of convincing. And everything became very awkward after that. The police awkwardly apologized and even went out of their way to say, quote, We weren't working on racial stereotypes just responding to the scene that was reported. None of the coffee shop staff actually said anything to me once I was apprehended. Guess I'm not going back there now. Entitled Kid never stopped screeching even as if I left after being released from the police. Entitled Mother seemed completely unfazed by the footage, continuing to claim that I must have stolen it from someone else because my type can't afford those phones. 
So that was another day of ruined by entitled to parents and racial profiling. I wish I could say I was surprised by the absolute gall of that woman. But to be honest, I've experienced so many of these situations. Nothing surprises me anymore. So the one thing I can't wrap my head around about this story, how come the racist Karen didn't have anything negative happen to her? The police should have arrested her. She literally lied, caused a scene, made the police go down there for false accusations, and she was being racist. I have no idea how she didn't go to jail for that. But guys, have you ever seen a Karen out in the wild? Drop your story down below. I love to read every single comment. Our next story, we're not letting up. It's going to be another entitled mother who vandalizes a car. Why? Because OP will not give up the parking spot. This one is crazy. I work in an office building with about three dozen companies operating on the premises. And because of the odd layout of the building, we have six different parking lots. I prefer using the hidden lot that requires you to drive through one of the indoor lots to reach. Which, between being hard to find and all those spots being marked compact, is usually less crowded than some of the lots closer to the road. Not to mention, the door into the building from the lot is right next to my office. So, it's convenient in every way possible. Today, it was raining cats and dogs when I arrived at the office. For some reason, my normal lot was unusually full. However, someone pulled out a prime space just as I arrived, giving me much shorter walk through the wetness to reach the door. I exchanged polite nods with the guy leaving, then pulled into the space behind him. As I'm getting out of my car and grabbing my laptop bag, I hear some distant car horn honking, but thinking nothing of it since it's practically on the side of the lot, when I turn around to head inside, Entitled Mom rolls up in an oversized SUV and slides to a stop on a wet pavement between me and the building, splashing me with a bit of a puddle in the process. That spot wasn't for you. Excuse me? The parking spot. I was waiting for it and you stole it. Where? The highway off-ramp? No, I've been looking for a parking spot for 20 minutes, and when one comes open, it's for the person waiting. At this point, I look up and take stock of the whole row of empty spaces that she's ignored to come over and harass me about taking her space. And consider the fact that the claim she's making that whoever was waiting first gets the first space is not now, nor has it ever been, a real point of etiquette. Me, gesturing, <laughs> lady, there's plenty over there. Why are you messing with me? Take your pick. No, I need that spot you need to move now. Why on earth do you have to have this spot? Gesturing onto the back seat, so my baby doesn't get wet walking all the way from over there. I look in the back seat and the kid's looking at me and is easily 12 years old. Over there couldn't have been more than 50 feet further to walk in the rain. Entitled Kid just looks at me and says, What's up? That's not a baby. He'll be fine. And anyways, your car would not fit. It's a compact spot. I move and point so she can read the six inch tall letters, making the spot as smaller than average. But if you go around to the side of the building... There's another lot that isn't compact spaces. Whatever. Are you gonna move or not? Your fat butt needs the extra exercise anyways. Oh man. Me, already cranky because I haven't eaten yet. Now pissed that this freaking lady in lipstick is talking to me this way. Well, I'm definitely not moving for such a colossal jerk. Have fun walking into the rain. I hope you get struck by lightning. I quickly walked away with this charm example of humanity hurled abuse after me. Now admittedly, about 15 minutes later once I was settled in at my desk, I started feeling really bad that I told this woman I hope she dies by lightning. Even if there was no lightning going on in the rainstorm, I continued to feel bad for 
all of five minutes, when the sound of a car alarm caused me to go to the window and look out. This woman had parked somewhere, gotten out of her car, and was now keying the hell out of my driver's side door while Entitled Kid records it on the phone. I took a quick picture of them in the act on my phone and immediately called building security to tell them what's happening. So guess who got arrested for destruction of property and assault? Oh, right. She also spit on it and scratched the security guard who went to confront her. So, assault. And everything that went down from the beginning to the end was practically right under a security camera. So, it's a good look at her and her kid and her car, including license plate. No way she's getting away with it. And since the slur she etched in my car door is homophobic, she may also get charged with hate crimes. So, that was fun. If I end up going to court and having to testify, uh, or deal with this woman again, I'll totally post an update. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss that. I can't believe for a second this entitled mother thought she was going to get away with this. I mean, did she think the cops weren't going to check the car registration? This was insane. I want to read a comment that I found in the original thread that the OP actually replied to. It says, she should have seen this coming. When the security guard pointed out the cameras to me, OP says, I started cracking up because if she would have looked up around at all, she would have seen it. Guard says, the difference between legit criminals and dummies doing illegal stuff is real criminals know at least to look around for a camera or a witness first. Guys, let me know what you think of this comment and also about the story. I have an MIBA hole coming up next, so let's jump right into it. My husband, 30 male, and I, 27 female, have been together for three years and married for five months. Our relationship has been without any problems until the week before our marriage. My husband was very close friends with a woman, let's call her Ava, that has known since they were sophomores in high school. I've never had a problem with said Ava. I thought it was very obvious that she and my husband are just friends. I mean, she had a long-term boyfriend and all, so I felt no jealousy or anything. I actually got along with Ava pretty well. We all hung out and together regularly, but then... My husband dropped a bombshell on me the week before we got married. I remember he sat me down and told me that Ava revealed to him that she has feelings for him and tried to convince him not to get married to me. She even broke up with her boyfriend of six years to prove that she was serious about my husband. My husband and I both agreed to cut her off. We uninvited her to our wedding and neither one of us have been in contact with her since. It was my husband's 30th birthday yesterday. He just wanted to have a dinner with family and friends, so that's what we did. So, we're all in the restaurant eating when, all of a sudden, Ava walks in. She walks to our table and says she did not mean to intrude. She was just getting dinner by herself and saw us. She then wishes my husband a happy birthday. I expect her to leave, but then my husband asked if she wants to join us. I looked at my husband like, what the duck are you doing? I'm visibly uncomfortable and irritated. I stand up and tell Ava that she can have my seat. Then I walk out, get an Uber, go home, because I want absolutely nothing to do with her. When my husband comes home almost two hours later, he immediately starts an argument with me. He tells me that I'm overreacting and acting immaturely. I ask him why did he ask Ava to sit with us because I thought we were on the same page. He replies that he was just being nice and he did not think it would be a big deal because it's been a long time since he's seen her so she probably doesn't have feelings for him anymore. And then he tells me that I ruined his birthday. I'm still upset about it all. I don't think I'm in the wrong. I mean, this woman literally cried to steal my partner. Am I the a-hole here, guys? Let me know your advice in the comment section. In my opinion, absolutely not the a-hole. 
the biggest red flag of the whole story when I was narrating this was when the future husband said, Ava, you can go ahead and sit down if you want. I was like, bro, you just messed up bad. I don't blame her for going and getting an Uber and going home. Let me know what you guys thought of this story in the comment section down below. And if you think that the OP is the a-hole, that's okay. But just tell me why in the comment section so we can talk about it. I still have one more story for you guys today. Another Am I the A-hole story. This one involves a stepson. Am I the a-hole for making my stepson clean the whole house instead of going to a birthday party? Wait till you guys see what the stepson's been doing. If you're new to the channel, click the subscribe button as Mr. Redito does daily videos. Here comes today's final story. I, 39 male, have an 11-year-old daughter and a 12-year-old stepson. They get along well most of the time, but like most kids, they fight and annoy each other. My stepson developed a habit of going into my daughter's room and taking things to his room to upset her. Like a t-shirt, a favorite pen, a teddy bear, etc, etc. I've told him to stop doing that repeatedly, and told him that each time he does it, he'll be punished. Well, the first time after that, he took something, he was on trash duty for a week. Next time, he had to wash the car. Next time, he had to help me mow the lawn, which he hates. He pretty much stopped upsetting my daughter after this. My wife says I'm being too strict, but I told her his behavior is unacceptable and he has to be disciplined. Yesterday was my stepson's best friend's birthday party and my stepson was really happy to go. Very excited about it, actually. A few days before this party, he entered my daughter's room and took her diary. When my daughter found out, she got so upset and told me and my wife about it. My wife suggested we discipline her son by making him wash the dishes that night. I told her this has become a big problem and just washing the dishes isn't nearly enough. We sat both kids down and explained to my stepson what he is doing. It's taking my daughter's stuff without her consent and that's not okay. Stepson says he just does it to annoy her. I said, I know, but it has to stop. He said she annoys him too, like she always sits in the armchair he likes most. This was the example he gave. And I said that I know that and she's disciplined for it as well. But what he is doing is way worse. I said I know they liked each other and are happy to be siblings and are just teasing each other. But this breach of consent needs to stop. He cannot enter her room uninvited, much less enter her room and take stuff. Stepson then yelled at me saying that this is his house. My daughter and I moved in with my wife and stepson years ago and he will enter the room whenever he pleases. I said, okay buddy, that's it. He's not going to the party and will instead clean the house with me and my wife that day. <laughs> He's obviously upset. My wife says that that was an a-hole move from me but I think it's the only way he'll learn. Let me know what you guys would do in the comment section down below about his discipline. So, in my opinion of this story, I don't think the punishment was too harsh. But there was a comment that I read which I would like to read to you all. Let me know how you feel about this. I'm also a bit hung on the division between your wife and you on punishment. He absolutely knows you two don't agree. You and your wife need to sit down and agree on the punishment. And then, she needs to be the one to present it with you in attendance. Otherwise, he sees you as a bullying interloper and knows she doesn't concur. Nothing good comes of disagreements on parenting styles. I didn't really think of that before I was thinking about my opinion, but let me know what you guys think of that comment. I would love to hear from you guys. That's all the stories I have for you today. I hope you guys enjoyed. And remember, if you want to support the channel, all you have to do is press that like button. Okay, guys, I'll see you tomorrow.